Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here and welcome back to another video tutorial on the jQuery UI which we've been going through since the past couple of videos so in the previous couple of videos we've understood what is jQuery UI library which is built on top of jQuery core library and we also included it into our project and in the previous video we understood what are widgets and we took a look at the very first widget which was the date picker widget and if you have missed that video do check the previous video of this entire playlist and in this video tutorial we are going to be taking a look at another widget which is provided in the jquery ui library that is the tooltip widget okay so coming to the entire code this is something that we've been doing in the previous couple of videos also so as you can see we have the three different css files of the jquery ui library and we have the javascript file of the jquery ui library which has to be always below the jquery core library okay so all these things are there in the folder structure so if you want, I'll just show it to you. So this is the code folder inside which we have the entire folder hierarchy. We have the CSS folder, we have the images folder, we have the jQuery UI folder and the JavaScript folder. That is the JS folder inside which we have the jQuery core library. In the CSS folder, we have our custom style.css and then the jQuery UI CSS comes in from this folder. Okay. So that's something that you can see from over here also. So in the body, we have a division. We've given it an ID of my div. And in the styles.css, we have given it a two pixel border of purple color. So that's what is seen over here. And we've also given it a 10 pixel padding. Lastly, we have a header and we have a image. So this is the Telesco logo. So what I've done is I've given it a title. So this is an attribute. So what this title attribute does is when you hover onto the image, you can see a small. So this is a default tooltip in HTML. And you can see that it is not really styled. It just looks very basic. So jQuery UI provides us a custom tooltip, which is a little bit advanced and the look and feel and some functionality to it is been added in jQuery UI. So let's add that tooltip to this image attribute. Now you can add this tooltip to any of the HTML element on the web page, but we'll add it to the image attribute over here. So in the script tag over here, let's select this image. So I'm going to use the element selector. I'm going to say dollar in the double quotes. I'm going to see IMG. So it will select all the images basically, but right now we only have one image. We are not selecting it by ID or class. We've seen this selectors in the previous video tutorials of this series. I'm going to say dot. And again, I'm going to use an inbuilt method in jQuery UI. So that's how we create widgets by using inbuilt methods. So I'm going to say tooltip opening and closing round brackets because it's a method and semicolon. So this one single line of code, basically what it does is selects this image onto the web page and creates and adds a tooltip which is customized in jQuery UI. So let's see this in working. Let's hover onto this image. So there you go. You can see a big tooltip which is shown over here, which is below the image basically. And you can see it is very different compared to the basic tooltip that we were seeing, which was provided by default, right? So this looks pretty good, you know? So now we can have different customizations with this tooltip widget also. And the way we provide different customizations is we have to pass all those details of those customizations using key value pairs in curly braces inside the method itself. Okay. So we have to pass them as arguments or as parameters. And there are some predefined parameters, which we can change. That is, we can change the value of those parameters. So as I mentioned, we have to do key value pairs. So just like in the style.css, what we do is we say what we want to change and then the value, right? So this is the name, or you can say this is the key and this is the actual value. Again, over here, the name or key is padding and the value is 10 pixel, right? So similar to that, we have to do curly braces inside the round brackets of the method hit enter. And now you can do this key value pair just like what we did in the CSS also. So now currently when you hover onto this image, you can see that the tooltip is coming pretty below over the division, right? So it's not really coming near that image. So what if you want that tooltip to basically track the cursor? So wherever your cursor goes, the tooltip will also follow you. So that feature can be done by using or turning on an inbuilt option. So whenever we are talking about customizations with widgets, we'll call them options. So we have one option which we have to turn on and that option name is track. Okay. So you have to say track. So this is the name and the value is a Boolean value because you have to turn it on, right? So you have to say true. And when I do this, now if I hover onto the image, you can see that the tooltip is following the entire mouse or cursor onto the image. So wherever I'm going on the image, the tooltip is also following me. Pretty cool, right? So one thing to note that if you don't have this title in this image tag, you'll not see any tooltip by default. So what if you want to add some text to the tooltip, not over here, not in the title, but in the code itself. Okay. So we have that option also. If you want to add multiple options or multiple customizations, you have to hit comma and then add the next key value pair. 
Now to add that tooltip text, the attribute name is content colon and it's okay, that part and it takes a string. So we are going to see Telusco is the best. Okay. Now if I hover onto the image, you can see it's still not coming because we still have to add a title. Okay. So that's a necessary thing that I wanted to show you that without adding that title, you cannot actually add new things via the code. Because what happens is in the jQuery UI, what it does is it looks for that title attribute in the image tag itself and then it modifies that. So that title attribute, even if it is blank, we have to have it. So I'm going to say title colon and even if I keep it blank, you can see that it's still working because what is happening is the jQuery UI library is finding this image. It's searching for the title attribute and it is adding this telesco is the best inside this title attribute dynamically in the code. So now you can see if I hover telesco is the best is showing as a tooltip. So another customization or option that you can do is you can basically add different effects to this tooltip. So right now when I'm hovering, you can see that the tooltip is fading in and fading out, right? So by default, it is fade in and fade out. So we can change that also. So we have different kinds of effects. So let's see how that works. Give a comma and what you can do is you can type in show colon. Now for effects, what you have to do is you have to add one more set of curly braces because effects consist of multiple things. So you have to specify what effect and we have to also specify the duration, right? So that is the reason why we have to add multiple curly braces. So we have one curly braces, which is for all the options. And then one option is a little complicated one. It's not a simple one. So that's why for this show property or for this show attribute, you can say or key, the value has to be in curly braces. So this show attribute consists of two sub attributes. You can say or two sub properties. The first one is effect, which effect you want give colon and it takes a string value. So I'm going to say bounce. You have to give comma over here and now you have to also give duration give colon and now this takes a numeric value which is in milliseconds. So I'm going to give 2000 milliseconds which is two seconds. Okay. So this show property or show option is a combination of two sub options or sub properties. So that's why we have to wrap them in curly braces. The first one is the which effect we want and the second one is the duration. So now if I hover on this telesco image, you can see that the tooltip came in from the top and it kept bouncing for a little while, right? So let me just first turn on the tracking off. And now if I hover onto this, you can see the tooltip was bouncing for some time. If I increase the time, you'll see that the telesco is best tooltip bounces for quite a lot of time, right? So similar to this, we have another effect, which is pulsate. Now, if I hover on the tooltip, you can see that the tooltip is pulsating. That is, it is toggling between fade in, fade out, fade in, fade out, right? And it happens for three seconds because we've given the duration as 3000. If I give 1000, it will do that for only one second and it will do it a little fast. Okay. The next effect is highlight. If you hover on the image, you can see that the tooltip was yellow for some time. So you can increase this duration. Let's make it three, three seconds. Now, if I hover on the image, you can see the tooltip initially was yellow because it got highlighted. One more is explored, which is pretty cool. You can see if I hover on the tooltip, different parts of the tooltip combined together and gave it a pretty cool effect. And the last one is blind. So I've written blind over here. If I hover onto the image, you can see how it is showing up. That is the tooltip is showing up in a blind effect. And yeah, these were some different effects. Now this was when we hover onto the image and when the tooltip is coming in. So what if we are going outside the image, it's still feeding out, right? So we can have that different effect for feeding out also. That is when the tooltip is hiding, even that can be changed. So just copy this and hit comma and paste it over here. And instead of show, what you have to say is hide. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say explode over here and here I'm going to say bounce. So when I hover onto the image, you can see the tooltip is bouncing in. But when I'm hovering out, you can see the tooltip is exploding. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, this was a little bit on this tooltip widget, which is adding a little bit of enhancements on the existing tooltip. And you can do pretty cool stuff with different kinds of situations. So this was just us giving some tooltip to image. You can do that to text. You can do that to paragraph. You can do that to different HTML elements and you can add some effects also and do a little bit of customizations. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how this video was and in the next video, we'll see some other widget as well. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.